Assalamu alaikum friends and welcome back to the channel. My name is Shafir Yunus and in this video I'm going to show you how you can get started with the Canvas API in Jetpack Compose. Let's get started. So I'm having simple Compose application and I can directly start with the Canvas API. So you can call Canvas Composable function and this function takes a modifier of course. Let's pretend we do have a modifier and the lambda to draw stuff. You can delete it here and have it like follow. You notice that we have a draw scope here. It means with this scope, you can start drawing stuff on the canvas, right? For example, you can start with the draw and you can see all the available options you have. You can draw path, oval, images, circles, rectangles, for example, and so on. But first, how this is implemented, actually you'd be surprised that it's simply a spacer with the modifier that is called a draw behind. This is the actual modifier that is doing the big thing, okay? And here in this modifier, you can see it is given us a scope of drawing. Here in the scope, of course, you'll have access to everything you saw, like drawing the line and everything. And there is basic implementation that is called canvas with draw scope. Okay, this is the thing on how it should work. All right, so we don't care here, but this is the thing. If you want to draw something, let's say you have a component and you want to draw something behind it, for example, let's say add lines or stuff like that, you can use this modifier. This is a great big modifier. Nice. So we can start drawing things. Let's try to build a house as an example. You remember when we were in the primary school and we told to create house, draw house, are going to do that in Compose, Compose primary school. So we can start after doing this fill max size, right? We can start by drawing a simple rectangle, right? Here is you can draw a rectangle with this color and this offset, like with the offset, which is in the top left, make sure that in Compose and this drawing library is that X and Y, zero, zero start here, right? So this one is X and this one is uh, Y, right? And here is the positive value and here we have positive value. So positive values are like that. Make sure to understand that because previously in the math, they were on the other side. Like X is here, where the positive of X is here, but the positive of Y, it was up there. So make sure you understand that. Then since we are in this draw scope, you can use the width and you can divide it by four, for example, height and divide it by four and you can see this is the top left it is here in the height and it is taking fourth of the screen if you divide the screen by four like that right you understand that this is the point from there we can decide that this is the size for our thing this is just basic calculation right and then let's pretend you are going to create kind of a triangle above it right you can't create a triangle there is nothing as draw triangle we don't have that we don't have dry text but what we have we have something called path right you can create a path on your own and connect the dots and then tell Compose to draw it. That's why you have something called the draw path, right? But before that, let's create an Android path. It will be the roof path, like the following. And then here we can do some kind of apply. And there you can start doing stuff. You can move to certain X and Y. That's the first thing. I'm going to move to this point. So I'm going to place the same offsets here, right? This is the first X and Y. And now I am at this point. I'm not starting yet. I'm going to create a line from this one. So it will be like the following, then another line, and simply then, simply I'm going to do close. This will create the path. So what will happen, we are going to draw this path. The path, it will be path, the thing. Then we need a color. I'm going to choose a blue color like we did. And this will draw a blue color. As you can see, here is the rooftop. So by default, the style is filling the, with the color. What we can do, we can change the style in order to make it only a stroke. I don't want the full color, right? So I can use something called stroke, like the following. And here I can provide certain values, for example. I'm going to use five DP, and then from this DP, you can convert it to pixel, like the following. Here we go. Here's the thing. But you notice that there is an actual missing point here. So this is due to the size of the stroke, but it's fine for the moment. And then, of course, you can draw other stuff. For example, you can draw a door, windows, for example. You can draw background, circle of the sun, for example, the old picture we have been drawing, right? You can, for example, add the background. Well, here you can add the background. You can start by doing draw bigger rectangle, right? Rectangle like the following. And make sure only to give it the size to be the size. It will take the full composable. And here, of course, you have just to give it a color. For example, you can give it a color of for example, cyan, and this will draw a big cyan color in the background, right? You can also, for example, draw like a sun here. You can do it with the draw, uh, what you call it, a circle, right? Draw a circle, 
and then you give it parameter like the following, for example, with radius, color, and offset. This is particular simple offset you can choose. You can also do it on zero, zero, that would work. So the center of it will be immediately here. And you can see we can draw stuff. Now, of course, it involves some kind of math. And sometimes for complex screens, it involves complex math, for example, especially with drawing with coordinates, right? At the end of the video, I'm going to give you two exercises you can implement on your own with the solution, of course, so you can grasp this API faster. There is a nice article I read in which the author was drawing social media icons, right? You can see it here. This is the article by Fikas Komar. You can see he's drawing all kinds of components. For example, he's drawing this Instagram stuff, then he's drawing Facebook. This is really cool exercise. You can check it on your own with specific stuff. For example, drawing curves like that involve busier. Like this is the path, right? If you remember, I'm going to show it to you. This is simply the path. Here we have path using different path. And you can see simply moves, cubic, cubic, cubic. This is the cubic stuff. Right, that is quadratic. And you can see with the draw circle, path, stuff like that, you can come up with big, really complex thing such as this one, right? Let's try this Instagram because Instagram is cool. Yeah, this one. You can see he's creating a rectangle. And then for this rectangle specifically, he's using different brush, which is gradient, right? This is the cool thing. Let's try to implement this Instagram stuff. So you can see here is the X and X. We do have this kind of rectangle and you have this kind of circle and another circle. They are basically rectangle, circle, circle. It's so easy. So let's try to implement it. Let me delete everything from here. Now for the first step, we limited the canvas to this only 100 dp, right? And then you can start drawing stuff. We are going to start a rounded rectangle, right? And here we can specify certain things. First, we can specify what is the color. For example, I'm going to use the red color, for example. That's the first thing. And also I'm going to select the style. Since I don't want a full icon exactly as you can see, I want just a simple stroke. Okay, and this stroke needs to be a little bit big. So we are going to use 15 as the author is using. Okay, so this would be the first step in order to create this one. Now you can see we need a rounded stuff. So here you can use corner radius. And of course, corner radius, you have to provide some corner radius, right? And you can provide 16F as the author is using. So this one will create for us this thing, rounded stuff. Now for the color, it isn't exactly red. It is gradient as you know in Instagram, right? So here in the color, we are not going to use a color. We are going to use a brush, you know, brush. So here you can specify brush equal and you have to remove this one because this draw rectangle has two signatures. One of those is the brush and the other is color, okay? And here in order to create this thing, you need to import from the brush. There is a lot of brush you can use. Radial gradient, vertical gradient, you are going to use linear gradient, and you can see it's taking a list of color. So we can create the list of color from here, and the list of color will be simply yellow, red, and magenta, as the author is using. For sure, it will draw that stuff. Exactly as you can see, this is pretty awesome. That's the first thing. Now we need another circle exactly at the center. So we can draw a circle from here. Now for the brush, we are going to use the same brush. So I'm going to take this brush, right? Extract it. You can extract it with Control V like following, and it will be extracted like that brush. So you can use it here with the brush. Okay, that's the first thing. Of course, the radius is too big, so we need to control the radius also. So it will be 45. This will impact it, nice. And of course, we don't want full circle like that, we need just stroke. So we are going to use the same thing here. Awesome, we need only the last one, which is another circle. Let's copy and paste this one. So this circle, it's a little bit smaller. So it will be, for example, 12 or 13 as the author is using. But now we want the position. Now we don't want stroke, it will be the full color, the full brush, of course. So here you can pass the center from where is the center of this one. It will be an offset and you can pass the different stuff. Now, in order to control it, here is what the user is using. He is using percentages, right? So this one, for the X, it means we are in the width. We are taking almost 80%, okay? So what we're going to do, we are going to take the size property and take the width and multiply it by 80%. This will be the X. The same thing for the Y, it will be around 20%. This is the values picked by the author of the article. Of course, here it will be the height instead of the width, and here it will be just 20%. So it needs to be here. 
and there you go here is the instagram look okay so as you can see you can draw anything we want right so the first exercise for you in order to get cool with this api is to draw the remaining icons this is one thing and the other thing which is a cool composable also which is the following speedometer with compose right you will create this full thing this is really a cool one and it involves some kind of not complex math it's if you remember polar coordinates right in order to draw this line with this inclination so this is really cool the author provides a solution and step-by-step stuff though so this is really cool in order to create you can see like there is some kind of math involved in here but it's not something big it is high school math of course <laughs> you can copy and paste but at least you understand what you are copying and pasting another cool composable you can create which is this one this involves some random letter switching this is really cool one he's using the draw behind modifier it's a little bit complex but you are going to learn a lot from such a thing this one is combining many stuff from the canvas api which is the draw behind and also some layout stuff so this is really a cool thing in order to learn more about compose and its api okay so this is it for this video thanks a lot for watching this video to the end don't forget to subscribe to the channel and always see you in the next videos Salam alaikum.